So in this video, I will be designing a serial in serial out shift register and I'll be making use of the 74HC5958 bit shift register IC and a 55 timer. So these are the components I'll be using four 1.5 volt batteries, a 74HC5958 bit shift register, a 55 timer, a couple of resistors, connecting wires, LEDs, a single push button, two 4.7 microfarad capacitors, and male jumper wires. So I'll start off by connecting the shift register IC onto the breadboard followed by the 55 timer. Next I'll connect my LEDs. I'll then connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor between the anode leg of each of my LEDs and ground. Next I'll connect pin number 11 and 12 of the shift register IC together and then I'll connect pin number 1 of the 55 timer to ground and pin number 8 to VCC. Next I'll connect pins 2 and 6 together and extend a wire from pin number 2 and connect the cathode leg of a 4.7 microfarad capacitor to pin number 2 and its anode to ground. I'll now connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor between pin 7 and 8 of the 55 timer followed by a 10 kilo ohm resistor between pin 7 and 6. I'll then connect the cathode leg of an LED to output pin number 3 of the 55 timer and its anode to ground via a 1k ohm resistor. Next I'll connect output pin number 3 of the 55 timer to pin number 11 of the shift register IC. I'll then connect pin number 14 of the shift register IC to one leg of the push button. And then I'll connect the cathode leg of an LED to one leg of the push button and its anode to ground via a 1k ohm resistor. Finally, I'll connect the other leg of the push button to VCC. Next, I'll connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor between pin number 10 and VCC. And then I'll connect the cathode leg of a 4.7 microfarad capacitor to pin number 10 and its anode to ground. Next I'll connect pin number 16 to VCC and pins number 15 through to 7 to the cathode leg of each of my LEDs. And finally I'll connect pin number 8 and 13 to ground. Now it's time to test. So when I press the data input push button, you can see that data moves in serially and out serially. Serial in, serial out. So I'm now going to replace the 1k ohm resistor with a 100k ohm resistor and observe what happens. So you can see that data is moving a little bit slower. And if I replace that with a 100k ohm resistor, you can really see how the data is moving much more slower than the other two times. So you can actually change the speed at which your data is moving by changing the value of the resistors or capacitors that are connected to your 5.5 timer. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.